So guys, what's going on? What we're taking a look at today is the Movo GM-7 Gooseneck Microphone. So what we're going to do is jump straight into it, do the unboxing, and of course we're going to do an audio test to see roughly what this puppy can do. So let's get into it. So of course I'm going to get this unboxed, see what we're working with, obviously see what we get in the unboxing process. We'll talk a little bit about it first, and then of course we'll do the audio test to see roughly what we get with this puppy. So just starting off, you do get a little user manual, which is inside this little clear bag. Then you also get some, you get a little Mobo sticker, which is quite cool, that'll go on my sticker wall. We get a little happy, not happy, depending on the product, as well as the user manual, which is gonna tell you how to get it plugged in, connected, and what each of the dials do, as well as probably getting it set up to your computer and all that good stuff. So let's have a look see. Very simple what we get inside the box. There's nothing really massively eager going on right now. But what we do is we get the center column, which is gonna be the modem. This is gonna be everything from your control to your monitor to your gain and everything like that. We do have a USB to USB type C cable. Quite a good length on it, so that's not too bad. And then we also have the gooseneck, which is the microphone. We have the XLR cable on the bottom. We also get a black, um, we get a black braided cord going on here, which allows you to move it full 90 degrees either way, as well as on the top where the microphone is, we also have the same material. So we do have the modem as well as the gooseneck. So it's just the gooseneck is as simple as lining the three prongs and they just shoot in like that. And then you can move the microphone to however you want it. And then we also have the actual cable going on here. So of course, what we're gonna do is get this plugged in and then we're gonna go through some of the specs, see what's really worth. And then of course, we'll talk about everything else going on. So I'll quickly get this plugged in and we'll get it set up. We'll do the audio straight away. I'll talk about it a little bit and then we'll do the audio. So I've just got it all plugged in. I've got mine connecting up to OBS Studio just cause that's what I'm using at the moment. And it's relatively the most easiest thing to use. You just simply click on audio input. It comes up with Mobo GM-7 and you're pretty much good to go. So on the front here, we do have a LED sidebar, which is right there. This, I believe this is also gonna register when you talk, this will move, but we'll go into that later. On the bottom here, we do have a mute and unmute button. We do have a gain as well as a monitor button. And then to actually get the microphone standoff, there is a little push clasp. You just click that down and then the microphone just slides out and you're pretty much good to go, which is pretty cool. On the back, we do have brightness setting, a USB Type-C port, as well as a 3.5 mil jack. 3.5 mil jack is there for you to monitor your own voice. So if you're talking on a conference, you've got headphones in, you can monitor your own voice to actually see if you know you are being heard clearly, there's no excess background noise, it, you know, there's no crackling, all that good stuff. So what it does, it allows you to monitor your own voice to make sure what you're saying is what you think you're saying. And then of course the gain, the gain is pretty much there to allow you to elevate your voice higher or lower depending on the size of the pitch. Obviously depending on your environment as well, the more gain it might sound a little bit raspy. But then again, if you've got it hooked up to the likes of OBS Studio, you can add filters and all that good stuff to make it sound either better or decreased and all that good stuff. So the one thing about the light as well on the front, we can change the color scheme. So there's all different types of LEDs we can change this to. So depending on the color you want, you can change it. We'll go for a nice blue. So of course, the only way we can really do this better is actually get this attached and we'll do an audio. Well, it is attached. I just need to click it on. We'll do an audio test. So just to start off with, we are recording currently on this microphone. Sorry about the noise. We're going to swap it over now. So what I'm currently doing is I'm recording on this microphone. Sorry about the noise. So what I'm currently doing is just trying to find my level where it sounds roughly okay. So I'm currently got my headphones on because I'm monitoring it. So everything I'm saying now, I'm listening through here. So I'm monitoring, which is quite clear. So I'm just messing around the gain. If the gain goes up, the higher the gain, it can kind of hear the background noise of what's going on. So it can hear my fans in the background from my PC, the higher you turn it up. But then again, if you are on a certain call, you can adjust this to however you want. But the great thing about this, like say if you have a few different speakers, so say if I've got another friend of mine sat next to me, all I have to do is simply move that over to him. 
bring it back and then I can carry on talking. So it is quite good for the likes of conferences and all that sort of stuff. If you're on a video chat and you've got this connected up and then all of a sudden something comes up and you need to talk to someone, all you need to do is click the mute button and you're pretty much good and you are safe to secure to say whatever you need. But I have to admit, it's relatively really easy and simple to set up. It took me all of two seconds to get it attached up to OBS Studio. And the same when, when it comes to like Skype and Zoom, it'll be relatively really easy to do that as well. It'll just be under your default microphone. And as always, it is powered by USB, USB Type-C. So if the cable you do get isn't long enough or is too long, etc., you can get them online for extremely cheap if you need to extend it further and further, depending on the environment you're actually working in. But I have to admit, overall, just through listening, obviously, when I go through actually editing this video, I'll be able to see exactly how it sounds. But for the likes of... Uh, conference calls, any of meetings, all that good stuff. This has to be perfect. The only thing I wouldn't recommend it for is the likes of gaming because it's obviously sat on a desk and then if you're constantly going and you're trying to stream, definitely not recommended for gaming, but that's not the actual appearance of this. This is meant for more of a, like, a conference situation. Sorry, I keep looking down and watching the camera. I'm trying to work out the new camera settings. But if you obviously if you're in an office situation, you're working from home, you're working in an office, you're in a big environment and you want multiple people speaking at the same time, but you only want one person's voice to be projected, this can be a perfect environment. Like I said, if you are in a circle and the guy opposite you wants to talk, you can just simply move it over to him. As simple as that. You know, you've got you've got a You've got a good portion of size here, which also has full maneuverability, as well as the top, you have full maneuverability, and then a solid bar, which you can grab and actually move it around, so you're not going to have to worry. You do have onboard gain and monitoring. Like I said, you can monitor through headphones, which I'm doing right now, as well as adjusting the gain, depending on what the person is actually listening to. So you can also go from there. But then again, if you are going to use this on more of like, say, a podcast situation, you also have the features of OBS Studios where you can actually mess around with that and also change the aspects of the audio as well. So I definitely have to say it is quite a good little bit of kit. So if you do, obviously... So if you are in the market for something like this and you want to make your office experience or your conference experience 10 times easier, 10 times clearer, and so much more easier, I definitely recommend you go down in the description and check the link down below. There'll be a link there dedicated to our website so you can check one out for yourself. But as always, if the video did help you in any way, shape, or form, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Peace.